It's your boy, Ranked Mountain Biking here. And if you've watched my last video, you know that I was hitting some sick jumps and ended up, you know, going a little, little over the handlebars and ended up cracking my frame as well as my front rim, which was pretty annoying, honestly. But, you know, you can't ride a mountain bike with a cracked frame. It's not, it's not safe. So, uh, I checked the website that I bought the bike from, which was Bikes Direct. And luckily, they have a 10-year warranty on mountain bike frames. So I hit them up. I was like, hey, yo, I was doing some, some trail riding, you know, some real, some real casual stuff. And the, the frame just cracked out of nowhere. You know, it, it happens. They were like, all right, bet. Says the old frame will send you a new one. I was like, bet. Took everything off my bike, put the frame in the box, sent it to them. They sent me a new frame. I was like, awesome. But the thing is that I decided that since I was kind of out riding this bike as of right now, so I really only wanted the new frame just so I could put it all back together and sell it to get a new mountain bike, a full suspension mountain bike, if you will. And luckily, my dad, for some reason, was in the market for... A, a used mountain bike which I happily supplied to him I don't know what he's going to do with it but uh maybe he'll start mountain biking eventually who knows but anyway I got that set up for him and I went shopping for a full suspension mountain bike now as you know full suspension mountain bikes are ridiculously expensive and I was not going to buy one brand new so I hit up my friend Devin McFadden who's been a mountain biker for ever allegedly he actually had one of his old mountain bikes, which was a Turner Sultan. Now, it was a little bit older, but he was willing to sell it to me for about $1,800. And I thought that was a deal, considering back when the bike came out, it was it was about $7,000 brand new. So even though it's a little bit older, it's still really good. And he upgraded some parts on it, so I thought that was a deal deal. So I went ahead and bought it. So you're now looking at my new mountain bike, the Turner Sultan, which we are going to nickname the Sultan of Swing for obvious reasons. And it's got a Fox 32 fork in the front with Hope brakes, both front and rear, with a Deer XT shifter, as well as a Fox Float RP23 in the back. And I'm still rocking the Fokker pedals, just like on my old bike. And then he actually upgraded this to a one by drivetrain. So that's going to be a massive help. And one of the biggest difference you'll notice is that the handlebars are significantly wider on this bike. And the stem is also a lot shorter. So if you notice on my old bike, I had super narrow handlebars, which were 610 millimeter handlebars. Now I'm going to be jumping to 750 millimeter handlebars with a super short stem. So that should give me a lot more stability in the downhills. And I'm also going from zero suspension travel in the back to about, I think it's 120 mil of travel in the back and 120 mil in the front. But the big question you may be asking right now is does it shred the gnar? And I can tell you right now, it does in fact shred the gnar. Lovely. Oh, I got dirt in my eye.
So, as you can see, the new mountain bike definitely shreds the gnar. I'm really happy with it. And I've already taken it to some pretty dope places. And all the clips that I just showed you were from upcoming videos. So if you don't want to miss those videos, you should definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. And I'm really looking forward to see where this mountain bike can take me. And with that, that's going to be the end of the video for me. If you liked it, please make sure to like the, the video. Self-explanatory. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. Do you? That's not a trail.